The concept of big is relative to the size of whomever is considering what big means. For example, to a cat, a grown human is considered bigger, and that same human is considered tiny to, say, a bear named Goliath because of his abnormal bigness, which we're making into a word for the purpose of this video. And regardless of their size, these animals can be extremely friendly and also completely terrifying. Whether it's the ocean or on land, from squids to snails, from bugs to bovines, they are real. Here are the 15 biggest animals that actually exist. Daniel was recently measured for Guinness, the previous tallest cow world record holder. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Number 15. Big Bears An Alaskan grizzly bear, Goliath, lived at Space Farms between 1967 and 1991. He was enormous, said to measure 12 feet long and weigh a short ton. He has often been heralded as the largest bear ever held in captivity. Goliath was undoubtedly one of the biggest bears ever seen alive. Assuming his oft-repeated stats are correct, he fell in the upper size range for Alaskan grizzlies. But he was not the biggest bear of all time. That title, as far as we presently know, goes to Arctotherium angustidens, which was a descendant of earlier bears that traveled to South America when the Panamanian land bridge opened a connection to North America about 3 million years ago. Scientists have known about this species for quite some time. It was first described in 1880, and it was huge. The beast they uncovered weighed anywhere between 2,162 and 4,500 pounds when it was alive. The prehistoric South American bear was at least 1,000 pounds heavier than even the largest known modern bears, and nine times as heavy as its closest living relative, the spectacled bear. And in a photo included in a National Geographic news report, the humerus, or upper arm bone, of the bear next to that of an elephant shows that the two are nearly equal in size. The bones were discovered in 1935 during construction of the San Juan de Dios Hospital in La Plata City in the Buenos Aires province in Argentina, and they date to about one million years ago. Many modern photos of hunters standing next to a supersized gigantic bear that they've apparently shot and killed themselves are most likely fakes. Photoshop can be a hunter's best friend when you're searching to make a long dead super bear your prize. Number 14. Colossal Squid Little was known about this massive sea monster, the Colossal Squid, until 1925, when remains were found in the stomach of a whale, reaching combined body and tentacle lengths of up to 46 feet and weights of up to about 1,100 pounds. The Colossal Squid is a very large deep-sea predator that eats small and large fish, like the supersized Pantagonian toothfish and other squid. They also have the largest beaks of any squid, which makes them a fearsome predator along with the 25 rotating hooks found in two rows on the ends of their tentacles, used in both capturing prey and fighting off predation. Not only is it the largest invertebrate on Earth, it also has the largest eyes of any animal, larger even than those of the great whales. Human knowledge of the colossal squid is based on very few specimens that have been captured in deep sea fisheries and on beaks that have been found in the stomachs of this species' most significant predator, the sperm whale. With such limited opportunities for study, it's difficult to characterize the biology and ecology of such a rare species. Writers have often imagined that this species engages in fierce battles with sperm whales, leaving both species injured. In fact, most southern sperm whales are covered with scars from colossal squid hooks. Other diving mammals, including the southern elephant seal and large southern ocean predators, feed on juvenile colossal squid, but the sperm whale is the only species known to take adults. Could you imagine going eye to eye with this colossus? Number 13. Moose the Horse Yep, you heard that correct. A horse named Moose, who, as you can see, is a very popular and striking giant horse with its own Facebook page because he's big as a moose. And he's a big winner too, winning the 2010 Supreme World Championship in Des Moines, Iowa. Moose is a Percheron, among the gentle giants of the horse world, once a war horse and then a powerful draft horse, today's Percheron is equally comfortable under saddle and in harness. This great looking but intimidating creature is often entered to compete on the horse pull circuit, in which teams of horses are matched against increasing weights. 
Moreover, they're often crossed with light horse breeds such as thoroughbreds to produce a sport-type riding horse. The Percheron breed was developed in the Perch province of France's Normandy region. Not much is known about the breed's origin, though there are several theories. Many experts believe the earliest Percherons might have been crossed between the handy barb horses of the Moors and large Flemish draft breeds. Arabian bloodlines were eventually introduced to add athleticism and refinement. During the 1800s, the French government further developed the breed to use as cavalry horses. The first Percherons arrived in the United States during the mid-1800s, and by the early 1900s, it was the most popular draft horse breed in the United States. But like many other heavy working horses, Percheron numbers dwindled as tractors and cars became the new horsepower. Number 12. Giant African Snails the common names are Giant African Land Snail or East African Land Snail, West African Land Snail, and even Tiger Snail. Whatever you call it, it's big. When it reaches its adult size, Akatina fulica grows to 3 to 4 inches long, but can have a shell of up to 11 inches long. The body inside would stretch to about 15 inches in length. These slimy critters have a life expectancy of about 5 to 6 years, but can live up to 10 years. Giant African land snails are hermaphrodites, meaning they possess both the female and male reproductive organs. Two snails are still needed for breeding, but they are very prolific breeders. A uh, fulica can reportedly lay 1,200 viable eggs per year, with several hundred eggs in a single clutch. These huge snails are relentless omnivores and have been known to chew through plaster walls because they contain trace amounts of calcium, which snails need for shell health. Fortunately, they're not carnivores. They are, however, extremely resilient, which is why efforts to eradicate them have been difficult. Many people in the UK and Asia keep these snails as pets, describing the snails as having cute faces and expressive eyes. While the giant African land snail might seem like a fun exotic pet to keep, it's considered one of the most invasive pests in the world. There doesn't seem to be much appeal to keeping the animal as a pet, and it's illegal to do so in the United States. And before you break the law to get a giant snail on your own, just know that they're believed to carry a parasite, and it's slime no less, that is responsible for a form of meningitis that is harmful to humans, so be careful. Number 11. Eastern Gorilla The Eastern Lowland Gorilla is the largest primate in the world, spending 40% of the day resting, 30% traveling, and another 30% feeding. They rest and sleep in nests, placed on steep slopes, in trees or on the ground. Eastern gorillas gather in social units called harems, which contain a male and females with their young. Gorilla harems are not territorial, though conflicts and encounters can happen, particularly when a lone male gets into contact with members of the harem. Grooming is a common activity for these gorillas, usually occurring between males and females as well as among females. These animals are very calm, careful to their babies, forming strong bonds within the group. Eastern gorillas use a wide variety of communication forms, interacting with each other or warning intruders to keep away. It's distinguished from other gorillas by its stocky body, large hands, and short muzzle. Mature males are often called silverbacks due to a large patch of hair on their backs, which is silver or gray in color. In addition, males have sharp and large canine teeth. Despite its size, over 5 feet tall when standing on 2 feet and weighing over 400 pounds, they survive mainly on fruit and other herbaceous materials, just like other gorilla species. The eastern lowland gorilla makes its home in lowland tropical rainforests in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, northwest Rwanda, and southwest Uganda. But in the last 50 years, its range has decreased from 8,100 square miles, about the size of the state of Massachusetts, to about 4,600 square miles today. This subspecies may now occupy only 13% of its historical range. There were nearly 17,000 eastern lowland gorillas in the mid-1990s, but scientists estimate that the population has declined by more than 50% since then. Number 10. Big Cow Chili Chile and four other cows were abandoned at the top of our drive one morning, said a representative from an animal sanctuary in Somerset, England. The sanctuary staff took in the situation and took the bullocks by the horns, rounding them up and giving them a home where they could live their lives pursuing their bovine passions, chewing semi-digested wads of grass and pooping. But Chile and one of his sisters ended up growing at an alarming rate. 
They were all normal sized, the rep continued, and he just grew and continued to grow and grow. Chili isn't fat though, just very big. As tall as a sports utility vehicle, Chili, who's 18 inches taller than a normal cow, would tip the scales at about 2,750 pounds if the Fern Sanctuary had scales that big to tip. That's close to 14,000 Big Macs. But there's no fear that the celebrity steer will end this life as the daily special at a local steakhouse. The sanctuary is in the process of getting the Guinness Book of World Records to formally measure him. But his handlers are confident he'll dethrone the Colonel, a deceased 6 foot 5 inch giant who is the current British record holder. Whether Chile will dethrone the world champ, an Italian ox named Fiorino, who measures 6 foot 8 at the shoulder, is still in the cards. Already the darling of the British media, Chili was unmoved by a live appearance on the Today Show, visiting the show via satellite from his pasture at the Fern Animal Sanctuary in Somerset, England. Number 9. Hogzilla Near Atlanta, Georgia, around these parts they're calling it Hogzilla, a 12-foot-long wild hog recently killed on a plantation and now quickly becoming a part of local legend. As you can see, the famous pic in the video shows this insanely huge beast caught on a farm recently and photographed hanging from a backhoe. The plantation's owner claims the hog weighed 1,000 pounds and had 9-inch tusks, but few people have actually seen the hog, the only proof being a photo that shows the dead beast hanging from a rope. Chris Griffin said he killed the beast at the River Oak Plantation, where he is a hunting guide and has been showing off the picture around this small farming community ever since. The hog is nearly twice as long as the six-foot-tall griffin who is seen standing next to it in the photo. A team of National Geographic experts have confirmed South Georgia's monster hog was indeed real and really, really big. They also noted the super swine didn't quite live up to the 1,000-pound height that was swirling around that beast, donning biohazard suits to exhume the behemoth's smelly remains. The experts estimated Hogzilla was probably only 7.5 to 8 feet long and weighed about 800 pounds. Despite the dispute, this town 180 miles south of Atlanta has already adopted Hogzilla as its own. It even went with a Hogzilla theme for its fall festival, with a parade featuring a Hogzilla princess children in pink pig outfits, and a float carrying a Hogzilla replica. Number 8. Goliath Bird Eater The Goliath Bird Eater belongs to the tarantula family and weighing in at up to 6 ounces is the most massive spider in the world. It can grow up to 11 inches in diameter, has a fist-sized body, native to the rainforests of Venezuela, northern Brazil, Guyana, French Guiana and Suriname in northern South America. The Goliath bird eater lives in burrows or beneath rocks or roots. It's an ambush predator, meaning that normally it lies in wait for prey to cross its path rather than hunting food down. Nocturnal, this tarantula emerges from its burrow at night, often feasting upon other invertebrates such as earthworms and beetles and toads. It also eats small rodents bats, snakes, and lizards, and rarely bird eggs. It does not, as a rule, eat birds, although its name comes from a Victorian-era story about it consuming a hummingbird. Covered in brown hair, the Goliath bird eater uses two types of its hair in its defense. When the spider feels threatened, it will rub its first and second pairs of legs together to create a hissing sound that can be heard up to 15 feet away. This is called stridulation and is the same behavior that crickets and grasshoppers use to make their chirping sounds. Although venomous with inch-long fangs, the Goliath bird eater's bite will not kill a person. It will, however, hurt quite a bit and has been described as somewhere between the pain of a wasp sting and a hammering nail into your hand. Their lifespan can be from 10 to 15 years in human care. Females can live up to 20 years, but males only live between 3 and 6. Number 7. Bismarck Flying Fox The Bismarck Mast Flying Fox is a species of flying fox in the Pteropodidae family found in Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, the Philippines, Thailand, Tonga, and Papua New Guinea, and named after the Bismarck Archipelago. They are sometimes called flying foxes, however they have no direct relation to foxes and only resemble them in passing with the face. It's the second largest bat in the world by weight and the largest by wingspan. Its species name is P. vampyrus, however, it is no vampire bat. This bat is what's called a megabat, being a large fruit bat. 
The large flying fox has a wingspan of 7 feet and a weight of 3 pounds, has small pointed ears, large eyes, and a face that's shaped like foxes. Its coloration varies from dark ashen brown to near black, and their toes have large claws that are curved to help grab on the branches. The large flying fox cannot echolocate, as that is specific to the microbats, and one species of fruit bat that has developed excellent eyesight and excellent smell to track their prey of fruit, nectar, blossoms, and pollen. They are active mostly in the evening into the night, while during the day they roost in large trees with many of their colony members sometimes numbering in the hundreds. They communicate with each other in high-pitched sounds, and a closely related species has at least 30 distinct recorded calls. The large flying fox, unfortunately, has gone from being a species of least concern to a species that is now near threatened. Being the largest bat by wingspan and the most visible with its flight, it's no wonder that they make such an easy target for bushmeat and those that consider them a delicacy. Unfortunately, if this bat goes extinct or decreases in numbers, plants will suffer due to a lack of pollination and seed dispersal. One last fun fact, the flying fox is one of the rare species of mammals in which the males can lactate. So, got milk? Number 6. Coconut Crabs it's hard to go wrong with a coconut crab as your child's first pet. They're low maintenance and kinda cute in their own way, plus they're hypoallergenic, as exotic pet lovers love to point out. But use care when choosing your crab. They can grow to a leg span of 3 feet, climb out of your terrarium and assault the family cat. More commonly known as the coconut crab, it's the largest terrestrial arthropod in the world. The coconut crab is native to a variety of islands in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, though its populations are extremely threatened on some of these thanks to, you guessed it, human tomfoolery, it grows remarkably slow, taking perhaps 120 years to reach full size. As an arthropod, the coconut crab wears its exoskeleton on the outside and must shed it as it grows, so once a year it crawls into the safety of a burrow and molts. It's highly vulnerable once it steps out of its rigid shell, so to hasten the development of new armor it consumes its old exoskeleton. Feeding is no small task. The coconut crab eats anything it can get its claws on. It'll go after fruit, vegetation, dead birds and such. It's been observed hunting other crabs, ambushing young chickens, and even targeting kittens. Say it ain't so. The coconut crab is known for its ability to use its massive pincers to crack open coconuts, exerting a force of about 742 pounds with their pincers. Adult coconut crabs are about 40 inches from leg tip to leg tip and weigh about 10 pounds. The full-grown adult ranges in coloring from light violet to brown and deep purple. Young adults are brown with black stripes on their legs. And did you know they also are known as the robber crab due to its curious propensity for stealing silverware in pots and pans? Number 5. Gibson the Great Dane In Grass Valley, California, lived Gibson the California dog with a red bandana dubbed the tallest in the world by the Guinness Book of World Records. He was born in April of 2002 and was the eldest of 12 puppies. The seven-year-old Harlequin Great Dane measured over seven feet one inch when standing on its hind legs. After working as a therapy dog and gaining worldwide celebrity record holder status for his extraordinary height, Gibson sadly passed away on the 12th of August in 2008 after a battle with bone cancer. Unfortunately, after he was diagnosed with the disease, Gibson had his front right leg amputated to prevent its spread. He also underwent chemotherapy as a precaution. Gibson's owner, Sandy Hall, learned the cancer had spread to his lungs and spine and that there was no treatment that could save him. But his legacy lives on. Gibson appeared on The Tonight Show, The Oprah Show, and The Ellen DeGeneres Show and on Japanese television after being named the world's tallest dog. I mean, look at him! Amazing! Number 4. Nomura's Jellyfish In less than a year, the Nomura's Jellyfish grows from the size of a grain of rice to larger than a person. It's one of the largest species of jellyfish, spanning two yards across and weighing 450 pounds, as heavy as a full-grown lion. To reach this size, the Nomura's jellyfish hungrily feeds on small plankton using its hundreds of microscopic mouths. Equipped with lethal barbs called nomadocysts, the soft body of the Nomura's jellyfish is not only protected from predators but also provides a safe haven for tiny fish that learn to dodge the poisonous weapons. 
Jellyfish have two main types of muscle, epithelial muscular cells and striated muscle cells. Researchers found that gene families that are closely associated with striated muscle were expressed in the bell portion of the jellyfish, providing evidence that striated muscles play a significant role in jellyfish motility. Growing to over 6 feet in diameter, Nomura's jellyfish reside primarily in the waters between China and Japan, primarily centralized in the Yellow Sea and East China Sea. Population bloom appears to be increasing with frequency in the past 20 years. Possible reasons for the population increase in Nomura's jellyfish include climate change, overfishing, and coastal modification, adding substrate for asexually producing polyps. In 2009, a fishing trawler capsized off Japan as its three-man crew tried to haul in a net containing dozens of Nomura's jellyfish. It did not end well, and the enthusiastic fishermen had to be rescued. Number 3. Cenarius Vulture Now this is a big bird. Growing up to 4 feet tall with a wingspan of up to 9 feet, the Cenarius Vulture is one of the heaviest and largest raptors in the world. It's a dark brown and broad-winged species with a slightly wedge-shaped tail. The bald head and neck are a bluish gray with a fluffy collar, which is lighter in older birds. In many countries, this bird is called monk vulture because of its upright standing neck feathers that resemble the hood of a monk. The Cenarius vulture nests in trees and sometimes on cliffs. Like most other vultures, Cenarius vultures are monogamous. Couples build huge nests that are reused each year, and after the eggs are laid, they hatch in 50 to 55 days. Cenarius vultures have a specialized type of hemoglobin in their blood, allowing them to effectively absorb oxygen, even at great heights. On thermal winds, they float to these great heights in search of food. Recently, the Cenarius vulture greatly decreased in numbers in most distribution areas, especially by poisoning, habitat destruction, and reduction of food supply. In many European countries, Portugal, France, Italy, Austria, Poland, Slovakia, and Romania, the species became extinct. But thanks to strong efforts in many different projects, the numbers are now slowly increasing, especially in Spain, where the population is now of more than 2,000 pairs. Furthermore, in France, a successful reintroduction project has resulted in the re-establishment of the species, and the total European breeding population, including Turkey and Russia, is approximately 1,800 pairs. That's great news! Number 2. Titan Longhorn Beetle we like big bugs, and we cannot lie, which is why we like the Titan beetle. It can grow to about six and a half inches long, and they live deep in tropical rainforests in South America, especially North Brazil, Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, and the Guianas. Actually, most titans we see today come from the French Guiana. These huge bugs will hiss if threatened, but they're not aggressive. They defend themselves with sharp spines and jaws strong enough to break a pencil, dent a plastic ruler, or cut a person's flesh. So don't mess with the titan. When spawning, Titan larvae feed on decaying wood below the ground, then spend just a few weeks as adults. We don't know much about this particular insect's biology, but some similar beetles don't eat in their adult forms. One Titan adult held captive for a few weeks was active and would even fly if its environment got hot enough, but he refused to eat the fruit and sugar water made available to him. They say some adult bugs live entirely on calories consumed as larvae. Titans may do that too. When the weather is at its hottest and most humid, they fly around looking for mates by following the scent of pheromones, which are airborne chemical attractants produced for mating purposes. Most male titans are caught at night, attracted by bright electric lights. Females aren't drawn by such lights, so it's hard to catch them. Before light trapping was possible, these beetles were extremely hard to find. In the 1910s, a titan was found in Brazil inside the stomach of a fish being prepared for dinner. Anybody hungry? Number 1. Japanese Spider Crabs Japanese spider crabs get its name from its resemblance to a spider. It has a rounded body covered with stubby projections and long, slim legs with a maximum size of up to 12 feet across, and its body weight will grow to about 15 inches wide and the animal can weigh up to 44 pounds. But the male is larger than the female and has larger claws. 
one of the largest known arthropods, the group of animals that includes crabs, shrimp, insects, spiders, and horseshoe crabs. As an omnivore, a spider crab diet consists of both plant matter and animals. It sometimes acts as a scavenger, consuming dead animals. Some are known to scrape the bottom of the ocean floor for plants and algae, while others pry open the shells of mollusks. Their habitat is in the Pacific Ocean around Japan, found on the seabed, often inhabiting vents and holes on the ocean floor at depths of 160 to 2,000 feet. It's difficult for fishermen to catch the giant Japanese spider crab because of the depth at which it's found, so the species is not widely exploited commercially. However, it's considered a rare delicacy in Asia. Member of the Magidae family, which is known as a decorator crab. This group of crabs will pick up small anemones, pieces of sponge, or other benthic animals and cement them to the top of the shell. This provides the crab with natural camouflage that protects it from predators. Nice work! That was the 15 biggest animals that actually exist. Thanks for watching.